protection on the weather. We did an hour on in the day as this weather system produced some pretty heavy rain in many parts of the country. In fact, we've had not far off an inch in some eastern areas. That rain is going to continue, I think, through the night before eventually that frontal system moves away and introduces somewhat clearer, showery weather. But as you see, it's still very wet. That rain will clear away, as I said, during the course of the night. It may still linger across the extreme southeast even into the morning. And following along behind, we're going to find some heavy and blustery showers packing into those northwestern areas. With some shelter in northeastern parts, a chilly night, temperatures holding up in the west. In fact, it's going to be particularly windy in some of these western areas, especially the northwest, as winds touching gale force. A windy day there tomorrow, really heavy and blustery showers packing into western Scotland and Northern Ireland. In fact, a fair number of showers in other western areas as well. We may well still start off with some lingering cloud and rain in the extreme southeast, but that will move away. It'll be brightening up. And then for central and eastern areas, there'll be some sunshine, a scattering of showers, though. One or two fairly heavy showers, I think, moving across the south of the country during the second part of the day. Now, with those winds, it is, I think, going to feel on the cool side. The showers fading away towards evening. But 13 or 14 degrees is about the best temperature, I think, that I can offer you. The unsettled pattern of weather is going to continue into next week. So although we start off maybe dry and bright on Monday, really wet and windy weather sweeping northwards through most parts, followed by a return of those blustery showers. That's it. Very good evening to you.